All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to force quit an app from your Android settings window in the event you're having trouble with it freezing up and just not allowing you to do anything, and you want to reset it without having to completely restart your phone. So to do this, all you have to do is pop into your Android settings and find the apps section here in the center and give that a tap. And from here, you can go into the long list of all of the different apps you've got running on your phone. So let's say something in the background is running. And let's say that Pokemon Go is the app that's giving you trouble right now. So we're going to tap on Pokemon Go. And we can see some information here. The first thing is that it's currently running in the background. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to tell it to force stop. And I can also archive this app for later if I want to save it to my account, but not currently use it. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is, okay, it's running in the background and I don't want it to be. So I'll just click for stop and it'll warn me that some apps will misbehave or have some problems if I force stop it. I'll just click OK because I want Pokemon Go to stop and it should stop. It shouldn't be running in the background or hiding anywhere. And that we're good to go. From here, I have some options. I can now, maybe I need to reset the app. To reset the app, you'd go to storage and then you'd clear the app cache data, or you could even clear the entirety of the storage itself, which would free up some space, but also it would reset the app so you'd have to log back into it and set it back up again. Sometimes you need to do that when an app updates and something about the update broke something in the old version of the app and it caused some conflict or lag or broke something. So sometimes clearing its brain out is a good thing after you force stop it, and then you can log back into it and set everything up again. Worst case scenario, you can just click uninstall to uninstall the app, and then reinstall it if you still want to keep using it. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a brief look at how to force stop apps on Android. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody. Have a good one.